Hey, welcome back to the channel. Um, this is going to be the first video I've done up here doing stuff at the pond. And man, look at the shape it's in. Uh, this dry summer, not not necessarily real dry, but it's been just hot. Uh, you know, like it has been everywhere. And it's taking a toll on our little pond. Uh, if you look over here on the right, right over here, pretty much the pond level, let me see. When it's at its highest point, let me come over here. When it's at its highest point, the level is right about there. And as you can see, man, is it ever down. Um, that almost looks like a little berm that you go out on, which I'm gonna try this, this weekend. Because I came up here to clear out all this grass and stuff that's grown, weeds. And I guess I can get to it pretty easy now. I mean, normally, here's another thing. Normally, the level of the pond is pretty much where this grass is at, right? the end of the grass weeds are right there. Now you can see, I mean, it's a good, I don't know, man, five foot. My wife had told me that it was uh, down that low. And uh, I was like, ah. <laughs> like, <clears throat> look over here at this part of the pond. See if I can zoom in a little bit here. Yeah. There's another prime example. Right where those trees, let's see, where am I at? Right where the trees stop and the bank starts, that's usually the level, man, or real close to it. That's usually the level of the pond. You can see how much is down, and we've, <clears throat> we've got, we didn't, we haven't bought and stocked the pond with any fish. Um, there are... I believe it or not, I haven't even had a chance to fish in it yet this year. Here our new rooster. He's in the background. <laughs> um, but uh, some of the grandkids and their parents have been up here messing around this summer. And they've, they've caught some bluegill. That's about it. Uh, we've got some frogs in there. I'm told we got some turtles in there. I haven't seen any turtles. Seen a lot of frogs. We've got a lot of bullfrogs. Um... Our neighbor, we have a neighbor down at the end of the road, into the driveway, and I let we let him come up here and mess around. He's lived here a long time, and I, I, I mean, I don't care. He's a good old guy, seems to be. Well, he brought some catfish up here earlier in the summer. Uh, three, it was three or four channel cats that he had got when he was fishing, and decided to he wanted enough. I want to put them in there. I'm like, sure. So they've been in there, and it, I mean, apparently they're still still going because I don't see them laying around anywhere like they've died off. Uh, they were pretty good size. They were, I don't know, uh, about a foot long, maybe a little bit longer on the average. So hopefully they can um, get us some more fish in here. And I want to put some fish in here, but uh, just haven't got to it. I'm kind of glad now. So we're going to take a bad and make a positive out of it. And do some work here this weekend. Here's another thing down. Let's see if I can get you to it here. Right there. Usually that stuff there is not even out of the water. This is where we've been thinking about building a boat dock. Just a little boat dock. We're going to get a John boat hopefully sometime. And uh, that's where we're planning on putting it. So, I mean, I can walk down here and get them now. I mean, they were completely underwater before all this was so we'll take like i said a second ago we'll take a negative and make a positive out of it and we'll even though it's the long weekend we'll go ahead and get this done while it's all exposed also got if 
see, look right there, there's a couple of our frogs. See them? Just jumping out of the water. They're not very big ones. But we've had some up here, man, that you can hear, uh, I don't know, talking, calling, whatever it is they're doing <laughs> from all the way down at the house. So we'll try not to disturb them too much. They gotta bother their their ecosystem. Whoa, well I missed that, it jumped back in. All right, well, I'm gonna get to work and we'll talk to you in a little bit. I'm trying to use this uh, weed eater. with the extension on it. Works pretty good. But I'm having a hard time, of course, keeping a weed eater running. I guess there's this brand that's, well, we bought it this year. Been doing good. I don't know if the fuel mixture is not right or what, but it's hard to keep it running. Which is making it harder to do so uh, this stuff here is thick it's grass it's hard to cut um, it's just gonna take a long time I reckon but with this extension which I use to reach down the bank but even though the bank is slick I think I'm better off getting down on the bank going towards it that way instead of reaching from up here so I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna take the extension off and try it that way. Just about slid down. Well, I did slide down. Just about went in, and my weed eater come with about a foot going in the bottom. So, lucky for me, bad for you all. Didn't have the camera on at that time. what we've got so far I'm thinking we walk down this way a little bit I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is leave that little bit of grass right there in the corner because we got that uh, well whatever that you want to say is growing there it, it it's pretty much out of the water um, whenever the water is up where it's supposed to be it's right on the bank I guess you could say that right there so I'm thinking I may end up leaving that as for somewhere 
when the water's up, the fish can go in there. Um, it'll recede back in the winter anyway. Um, and that way, that's a little bit of grass that they can hide in. And when we're fishing, we can, we can know that. And so I'm getting ready to take a little break. And then when I come back, I'm going to be dragging all that out of the water. Because, uh, I mean, there's some on the other end that those I can't even get to unless I use a boat because it's too steep over there. Because uh, that hill, that right there, you can't see it because the trees are so thick right now. Is that just a hillside? I mean, you can't really, you wouldn't even hardly be able to walk down it. If I could get over there to where you see all the tree limbs, the little limbs, that's kind of flat over there. Um, but it's usually underwater. So that'll probably stay. I may end up taking that one out if I can get to it tomorrow. Um, may cut back some of that grass there. I haven't decided yet. Give it the fish another place to go into because there's not much in here. It's just a little pond. So, um, But this here is right in the way. We're planning on putting a little boat dock here to make it easier when we get a john boat a little boat to paddle around on uh, to get it in and out of because um, it's so steep here because like like I mentioned earlier the water is usually right up here pretty much so you can see how steep it is there's there's nothing comfortable to get in and out of the boat and it looks like there's already one over here on the ground I think my grand, one of my grandsons pulled out that one there and there's two more down there it looks like somebody had either had a little dock at one time or was going to try to build one and you know uh, this post on the ground over here I checked it out it seems like it's still pretty sturdy so maybe we can use those as our posts to start a new dock and get them in the ground out down here before the water starts coming up it's just, I hope we start getting enough cooler weather and the rain will start uh, getting it getting it back up there. You know, last winter when we had the ice storm when we first moved in, uh, believe it or not, this in this pond, bad as it looks right now, it was overflowing the bank and coming down going down the hill where there was so much water in it. I mean, it was huge. Um, I'd like to see it close to the bay and being back like that again. Uh, well, we'll see what happens. See you in a little bit. Well, back from my break, but this is actually a couple days later. Came back up later on in the day, in the day the other day, and uh, my daughter and the two grandkids had showed up and they helped clear all this out right here. So we're ready for the boat dock. But we got a, another bigger concerning issue, we think. And it's coming back up here this morning. It's about 9 o'clock or so. Is It is looking like we've got a leak in the pond. Because it has gone down more overnight. You see that stick right there in the water? Maybe kind of hard to tell on the video, but yesterday the water level was just a couple inches down on that stick, and now it's about four inches down. So, and if I remember right, yesterday that rock right there, the water was pretty much right at the right at the front of that rock and now it's down further so it is looking like <laughs> one of the main reasons i wanted this place has got issues now i'm thinking what, what might have happened i've been doing some research and the deeper the pond is which you can tell this was a pretty deep pond. Uh, we thought that out in the middle it was probably at least 10 foot deep. And it looks like we're right because the 
water level used to be right at the bottom of those trees as I mentioned earlier in the video and I've got another video where that grass right there the water is about two foot down from the top of those those gra uh, that grass right there so pretty deep pond and they said that creates more pressure uh, I say they the internet that is uh, on natural ponds which is to me would be considered a natural pond because it doesn't have a liner or anything in it that they actually always leak a little bit um, but you know when you get your rain and everything it's going to help keep the level up we'll see we haven't had much rain for two months i mean we've had some you know come in downpours for a few minutes but we haven't had any steady rain for days now i get down to it here let me show you what else is the other reason that we think where it's coming out at which we're still not 100 percent sure but after me coming up here this morning it sure looks like it my wife and my daughter found this yesterday Look at there. It's a sinkhole. And you can see the water coming up. And it's running back down underground. Some more. And coming out. Right over there. Right there. And then running on down. I mean, there's a good amount of water. And you can see here, get this stick here. I mean, it just goes down and down and down. So, if that ends up being a natural spring, not the pond, or <laughs> try to do something with it, because that's a lot of water coming out of there. But, what we're thinking is wherever the leak is up top here in the pond it's coming to there i mean it's just what we're this is all just what we're thinking right now but it sure looks like to me that the pond does have a leak in it bad enough and we're thinking what happened was with all we had a bunch of downpours and maybe the pressure from that or made the ground weak over there and the weaker the ground got it caved in and it just opened up the floodgates i, I don't know but right now it's not looking good for us so kind of a sad ending to the video <laughs> Um, and we'll have to hopefully, I mean, we've got some fish in here. I mean, we didn't buy any fish, but we've got some fish in here and stuff that, uh, I mean, I, it comes down to it. We're just hoping that eventually it's going to stop. But knowing the way things go, the hole is probably going to be right out in the center somewhere. So at least, you know, if it does go dry, at least we'll get everything cleaned up out of there and we'll hopefully see where the hole is at and uh, get some clay dirt and sand in there to compact it down and hopefully it fills back up that's all we can do so uh, we will see you next time god bless